Omajua, Destiny Child. It's a super story. This is a super story. This is a super story. Are you sure you feel no sensation on this, your left side? Nothing at all, doctor. Doctor, please. What is wrong with me? Huh? Mm, we can't be sure for now. But the important thing is... Thank God you finally made it. Thank you, Doctor. You said it. Well, it's a big relief for all of us. <laughs> I'll be in my office. How are you feeling now? We were all very worried. Stop pretending, Alero. Pretend? What's there to pretend about? You betrayed me. Why, Alero? Why? I did not betray you. Anyway, that's not important now. What is important now is your health. I saw both of you. Why? Why? Nothing happened between Mr. Gemade and I. What you saw wasn't what it seems. In fact, I should be the one accusing you of betrayal. Why, Jolomi? Why did you have to employ the services of a financial consultant without informing me? Why? Why did you squander everything that I have worked for, Alero? Why? 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 I have to do something. I have to get myself out of this unfortunate sin. Lord, how do I face Chief? He trusted and entrusted me with everything. And how did I ever on earth allow Alero to manipulate things? I have to explain all that in the consultant's report. Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. How did I ever allow this to happen? How? I love today and you won't add up to it. You can't come here and keep asking me to do one, one thing or the other for you, man. I, I can't. Come on, my love. I'm not asking for too much, am I? Look, 500,000 man is quite a lot of money. I know you can raise I it. I cannot. Not with your father in the hospital. It doesn't matter if my dad is hospitalized or not. Eh? Two days. I need the money in two days. And you know that that is not possible. I don't think anything is impossible, my love. I don't think so. Look, Jessica, I cannot raise that money, please. But you are the financial controller now, eh? The approval has to come from your father. Oh, my mom. In her capacity as a vice chairman of Cholomi Holdings. It's not as easy as you think. 
Which is easier? The money or informing my mom about you and I. Are you trying to blackmail me? No, 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 my love, no. I like you so much to blackmail you. Why don't we make the most of tonight? Hey. Neck deep. Jerry boy, you're in all of this neck deep. I did not squander anything. In fact, I should be commended for investing your money rightly. <laughs> no, you shall be put behind bars now. Yes, for, for, for treachery and betrayal. Yes. Really? I should say, you don't deserve my sympathy at all. Oh, thank God. Dad! Nice having you back, Dad. I'll be right back. Sure, Mom. How are you feeling now, Dad? Fine. Fine. What actually happened? Please. Please. I'm, I'm tired of sitting up. No, madam. Actually, there is no cause for alarm. But you just said my husband may have had a partial stroke. Hey, yes, that is what we suspect for now. But with good management and therapy, you should be able to work again. No, we need to do some um, tests. And it's after then that I will be able to tell you if you will be able to work again. Thank you very much, Dr. for your efforts. Uh, you're welcome. Now to your second question. Uh, moving chief from here would depend on some factors. Me, Dad. Let's see how we can get him to the room out of his wheelchair. What are you standing and staring at? Come, come on, come on, come on, help them. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Hold his leg. Gently. Hold, hold his legs. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. Thank you, Thank you madam. Thank you. Do bring his leg.
What is wrong with you? <laughs> it is Oga. What about Oga? It is. I don't know how to say it, madam. Don't you have something to do in the kitchen? Y yes, madam. Then go in and do them. Yes, madam. Adisa? Yes, ma'am. Clean this car properly. You're taking me out soon. Yes, ma'am. Should be in my room, not here. Mom says here will be convenient for you. It is not for her to say. I can see you're settling down. I demand that I relocate to my room immediately. <laughs> but why? I think this place is best for you. You are in no position to know what is best for me. Why don't you calm down? Tessir, excuse your daddy and I. Sure, Mom. But I hope you realize that today is the deadline for the payment of that money. I said, excuse your daddy and I. Easy, mama. Easy. You're shouting. I'll be waiting for you. You remember I told you the other day at the hospital? that you don't deserve my sympathy. Is that why you brought me here? Would you rather you were dragged upstairs in your wheelchair? Hmm? I don't know why. I don't know why I've trusted you all these years. <laughs> That's because I am to be trusted. Very much unlike you. Why? Why? God, what have I done to deserve this? You mean your sister went out after all I said to her? She said what she had to do was important. I see. My admission is also very important, Mom. And after today, I'm afraid And I, I was... told you you would have the money today, didn't I? What's your problem? Life of strife and sorrow. That's the problem. Jessica thinks I am bluffing. I told her how urgent I needed that money. Yet, she's throwing me around. Me. Risky. Nobody. Nobody throws me around. If she doesn't play ball today, I would have no choice than to do what has to be done. Yes. Yes. How do I get out of this tightrope? That is the question. It is very easy, Jerry boy. Very easy. 
I, by extension you, will remain in charge. As long as my husband remains incapacitated. And what about the consultant's report? Were you the one that hired him? No. But the content of the report... I do not recognize the existence of any such report. But why don't you let me complete what I have to say? If it has to do with that report, forget it. It could put us in trouble. What trouble? That report suggests that there's been some underground dealings, as well as rope tripping. We did no such thing. I said that's what the report suggests. And it could put us in trouble if investigated. Nobody is going to investigate anything because I am in charge. But what if the consultant decides to act on the report? On whose authority? Oh, come on, Jerry. But why did you just underestimate me? I don't. And you know it. Maybe in the past. Anyway, in case you need to know, I have instructed my secretary to terminate the appointment of the consultant with immediate effect. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I know what I'm doing, Jerry boy. And again, you need to put those documents in order. Why? To be on the safe side. Anything can happen, you know. Especially since it's your signature that is on all those transactions. Come off it, Jerry boy. You know I will always be on your side. Anytime, any day. As long as you remain with me. And by me. What do you think? Slight adjustment to our original arrangements. We agreed you would not see me here. We agreed that you call me latest me day. What's the time now? Well, I sent someone to the bank to catch the money. You shouldn't be seen here. In my father's company. You make me laugh, my love. Oh, cut out this, my love thing. All right, all right. When is the person coming from the bank? Very soon. The sooner the better. I hate keeping people waiting. Look, why don't you just leave? What do you have in your refrigerator anyway? I, I say leave. I will personally bring it to your whatever you want me to bring it to. Just name where. No, I am not leaving this office without the money. Why are you making things difficult for me? Why don't you take a call? Maybe your guy is back from the bank. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right over. Not your guy. That's him. Mom. She just got into the office and she wants me right over. <laughs> Good for you. Jessica, please leave now. Not without the money. But why are you doing? It's you, go. Let's have the money first. God, I'm pressed. I'm pressed. And there's no way I can relieve myself. I did. I did swear. I did swear. I did swear. I just 
Hilfe! Hi, Mary. Fine. You've kept us waiting for some time. I'm sorry. Is that why your friend is not looking in my direction? Mm -hmm. Don't you mention my name. You hear me? I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I had to do something for my mom. I promise. I'll make it up to you. Whatever. Where is the maker? Just left. Says we'll be back shortly. Um, girls, give us half a second. Boys talk. What's the excitement about? Fumilaya, that's what it's all about. Have you reconciled with her? <laughs> Not yet, but everything is set for the party. Money, all, just name it. You, you mean you're still going on with the party? I have to prove a point to Fumilaya, don't you think? Oh God, I, I don't know what to say. Say nothing. I won't do this next time. I won't bother you next time. For your assistance. Mention it very well. Oh, yeah. We have to respond somehow. Exactly what I think. Do a letter to each of the banks asking for time. How much time? Time enough for us to put our acts together. You don't have to worry yourself, Jerry boy. 
I have personally made contact with some of the chief executives. The letter is only a formality. I hope so. Why do you sound that way? Like how? Kind of indifferent. Look, Jerry. You don't have any problems. And you will never have problems as long as you're together. We will move this conversation to the heights. Are we together? Does it really matter to you? After all, I am the one signing the letters. The fall guy when the chips are down. I have to put an end to this harassment and blackmail from you and your misdirected daughter. What do you say, Jerry? Mm, yeah. Of course. I'm with you. This is super story. Very good. Life of strife and sorrow. I want you to come here first thing tomorrow morning. Yes, madam. Uh, if you don't... Matthew! Yes, madam. Come here. If Adisa comes here later than 6.30 in the morning, don't open my gate for him. Is that clear? Yes, madam. If you do, you will be in trouble. Yes, madam. It's time you all begin to work for your money. Is that clear? Y yes, yes, madam. madam. I am glad I don't stay in this compound with you people. Yeah. Good night. Adeswa. Adeswa. Where's Adeswa? Adeswa! Adeswa! children abandon me. Please don't talk like that, sir. What? Welcome, ma'am. What are you doing here? She came to help me because you and your children abandoned me. Get out. You're holding your nose? Eh? You're holding your nose. That's because there was no one to assist me. Yes, I messed myself up. I messed myself up because there was no one. Yes. Look, I had to run the business. You want me to stay here with you? What business? Huh? What business? The one you messed up with your with your with your lover? Eh? I have told you repeatedly that Mr. Gamadi and I don't have anything in common. Uh, 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 uh. Why did you insist on bringing me home from the hospital? Why? Why? Why did you seize my phones? Why? Why? Because I wanted you to rest properly. No. That's why. No, Alero. You want me dead. You want me dead. 
Oh God. Why? What have I done to deserve all this? Why, Alena? Why? Why? I even ignored members of my family because I wanted to please you. Is this, is this what I get in return? Eh? Eh? Oh. Well, mm. I don't have anything to say to you right now, Jolomi. Children can be there for me. Oh God, what have I done to myself? What? Oh, oh. Go on. I don't want Madame to be angry with me. Speak up. What is it? It is about Oga. Yes, what about him? I know you said I should not bring him out of the room. But it is somehow for him to be staying there every time. I don't want Madame to be angry with me. But I would like Madame to give me permission to bring Oga out for fresh air. Are you tired of walking here? Ah, no, Madame. I'm not tired. Good morning, Mom. Good. If you want to keep walking here, you must mind your business. Is that clear? Yes, Madame. Get out of my sight. Anything the matter, Mom? When did you get home last night? My friends and I had this get together. When did you get home last night? Late. <laughs> Look, Mom, I'm old enough to know what's good for me. I mean, I'm tired of being interrogated like this. Excuse me, Madam. Yeah. Did Alisa come in early? Yes, Madam. Very well then. Tell him to get the car ready. We'll be leaving soon. All right, Madam. But there is a woman and man outside. They say they want to see Oga, but I told them to see you first. Have they been here before? No, madam. Did they tell you why they wanted to see my husband? No, madam, but the woman said it is very important. Very important. Okay, let them in. You should be ashamed of yourself, Tessiru. I gave you money to pay for something. You didn't even come back to tell me how it went. I'm sorry, Mom. The fact is that it went well. My admission is as good as through. Good morning, Madam. Good morning. I understand you wish to see my husband. Where is he? Maybe you should answer my question first. Why do you want to see my husband? Because I want him to meet with his son. Could you please repeat what you just said, please? You heard my mother. I am here to see my father. What father are you talking about? My dad? You are obviously in the wrong place. Show them the way out, Matthew. We are not going anywhere until we see Orisha Jolomi Peters. You will have to leave, madam. My husband has no child anywhere. That we'll find out when we meet with him. Not here! Go to my aunt Matthew this minute! I demand I meet with my father. Where is he? Move them out, Matthew. Stay where you are. What's going on here? This woman claims dad is the father of her son. Our dad? I will get you fired if you don't get this people out of this house this minute. All right, madam. We go nowhere. Matthew is in trouble today. Mom, why don't we get that to confirm this whole story once and for all? 
There is nothing to confirm. I think I agree with Jessica. Let's get that to prove to them that they're in the wrong place. Are you sure my dad is your dad? Come on, let's go get dad. You will do no such thing. That's the only way we can prove to them that they're in the wrong place. Stop there, both of you. Jessica! My husband and I have known each other for the past 30 years. So you can see you're obviously in the wrong place. Morning, Dad. Why did both of you abandon me? I did not abandon you, Dad. I was very busy. We have to wheel you out of here now. There is someone who wants to meet you. Who could that be? You will find out, Dad. You have to give me a helping hand. Of course. What if this woman turns out to be your gas secret wife? What happens? What? Where has she been all this while? Oh, there you are. This woman says you are the father of that boy. No. Me? Me? Yeah? Do you know this woman, Aldison? Did you say you, you know me? Yeah? Me? I told you, Mom. Only that could prove she's mistaken. Ah, woman. My husband can neither recognize you nor your son. So I appreciate if you leave my house now. But, Mom, I thought you said he's my father. He is your father. Oh, God, she insists. Please, I don't want to see them anymore. Matthew. What? Whatever happened to you? You're loving me. They're loving me. There's only one person who calls me that. Abba said they. Abba said they me. Whatever happened to you? Why are you on this wheelchair? Abba said they me. You have changed. What is all this nonsense about Jello? Uh, uh, um, uh, Abba said they. About said me, we 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 knew each other long time, long time ago. I came here because your son wants to meet you, our child. Child? But that, 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 that was that, that was there was no 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 child. Oh, that settles it then. <laughs> there was no child. Um, woman. You may have known my husband in the past, but well, certainly your bastard son is not his child! I am no bastard woman! And I advise you watch what you say. You don't threaten me, young man. Stop it, Alero. Stop it. Why? Why? Don't tell me you believe their stories. Well, at least let her explain. Explain what? Oh. Everything that happened. I remember it all, just like yesterday. Uh, 
Abosa Demi. Hey, sit down, sit down. I'll miss you so much, Tolomi. I'll miss you too. Hmm? But don't you worry, okay? I'll get back to you soon, okay? But how? Worry is such a far place. Come on. Worry is not that far. See, listen. Love knows no distance.
Paul said it. You are crying again, not so. Mama. Mama. I don't know why Jonomi hasn't replied any of my letters. I don't know why. That's because he was not sincere about you. I don't think anything has happened to him. The stupid boy has has only chosen to to forget about you. That is all. Mama, it's not possible. Jolomi cannot possibly forget me. It's not possible, Mama. It's not possible. Please don't say it again, please. What do you say? It's something I ate. But you threw up yesterday, the day before, and even the day before it. Mama, it's nothing. Ah. It's nothing. I think this is something. You don't wake up early these days. You throw up. You look pale. Don't tell me you're also pregnant for him. Ah. Mama, I'm not pregnant for anybody, yo. I don't know, Mama. I'm confused. <laughs> when was the last time you had your period? I didn't see it last month. And this month. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Mama? Reply from Jolomi. No news. Nothing. <laughs> and I'm pregnant for him. <laughs> what your father will do when he finds out about this? That is my concern. <laughs> Pasade! How could you allow something like this happen? How could you? <laughs> You have shamed me! <laughs> oh, you have shamed me, Masade! <laughs> I discovered I was pregnant just two months after we parted company. I had the baby, Olakule. Son, I promised that I'll take you to your father. This is your father. This is your son. This is your son. Why don't you put up that nonsense? I don't believe a word of all she said. It is not for you to say, Alero. Mm -mm. This is super story. Why are you bothering my life, Steve? We have to see, please. It's very important. Look, I'm very busy now. Let's talk later. My life depends on it, please. I am outside your gate right now. What? Outside my gate? Please, I need you to beg someone to leave me alone. <sighs> this had better not be a joke. What? 
I don't understand. You knew where to find me, and you waited this long. Why? Eh? There was no reason to. And now you think you have a reason to come in here and tell us all these lies, right? My mother speaks the truth. The very truth. Are you sure about that? The very truth. Please, Jessica, you have to help me talk to him. I don't want to have any trouble with anyone. Are you sure about this? Or are you making this all up so that I could see you again? Why would I want to do that? The guy threatened me with a gun for goodness sake. Okay, okay, just calm down and tell me exactly what happened. I've already told you. This morning I drove out of my compound when this guy waved at me. I slowed down thinking he was someone I knew. Hello, sir. Can I help you? You just keep cool, quiet, and drive on. Today is your lucky day because I woke up on the right side of my bed. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't want you to go near my babe again. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know my babe? Hmm? No, sir. No, sir. Jessica. She's special to me. How much do you have on you right now? I don't have much money, sir. I said, how much do you have on you right now? Some cash, sir. Is this all you have on you? Yes, sir. All the cash with me. Okay. Like I said, this is your lucky day. Hmm? A pullover for me right there. Okay, sir. I'm good to the guys who think I'm good. And for those who think I'm bad, too bad. Because I could be really bad. Stay away from me, babe. Because you may not be this lucky next time. Can I put on your seatbelt, okay? Yes, sir. Jessica, you have to tell this 
risky of a guy that you and I don't have anything together. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh God. Hi. <laughs> you think it's a laughing matter? No, 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 no. Steve, you said you cared so much about me. Why are you backing up? Because some guy pulled a gun at you, asking you to stay away from me. Huh? You're wrong, Jessica. This is not just some guy. This is a criminal and a drug addict. He extorted money from me for goodness sake. And you think I'm not worth the stress? I don't know about that, Jessica. All I want is that this guy leaves me alone. Please. I had a baby with the help of my parents. The baby lived a normal life. My parents showered all the love they possibly could on the child. Until the day Timmy and I met. Where are you, my love? Your son. Our son is almost a year old now. And not even a word from you. When I see our son, I see you. I really hope all is well with you. But how can all be well with you when no one has seen you? Not even a letter. God, God please bring Cholombi back to me. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> Why don't you want to give me a chance, person? Because my heart belongs to someone else. The father of my son. I know. Give me the chance to love you, Bosse. I care so much about you. And I know we could find happiness together. I can never find true happiness without the only love of my life. Just, just give me a chance. And I will prove to you that I could love you more than anyone else in the world. Timmy loved the child just like his very own. It never mattered that Mary was not blessed with a child or Lakunle was our child. And he demonstrated his love to us when he willed the multi billion naira Deluba Airways to him. God bless his wonderful soul. Bless his soul. I grew up knowing Daddy Timmy as my father. Until a few months ago, when he died. My dear mom became ill and doctor diagnosed terminal illness. This fateful day, she called me, telling me about a father somewhere. Olakunle needed to know who his biological father is. That was when I needed to do something before my time finally runs out. My mom got to know about your whereabout 25 years ago at which time she was happily married to my, to my father. Cholomimi, I bring your son to you. 
so that I can finally rest in peace. I trusted your mother with all my heart. And, and I know that all she's saying here is the truth and nothing but the truth. Come. Come, son. Oh, please stop this charade, Jeremy. Stop it! I received my son. And neither you or anyone else can do anything about it. I received my son. See. We shall see to that, Jeremy. I am your local wife. And I do not recognize the existence of any child anywhere, bastard or not. Open the gate for me now. Yes, madam. Come, sir. It's a super story. Adisa! Yes, madam. Where are you going, Mom? I cannot stand that nonsense happening in there. Do you know Dad actually accepted him as his son? Now listen to me, both of you. I do not recognize the existence of any other child. And I do not expect less from both of you. Take me out of here. What do you think, sis? Well, I don't know what to say, but she sounds convincing. Would you accept him as your brother? I don't know. <sighs> the sky is beautiful, don't you think? must be his. I ask again, would you accept him as your brother? Look, Tessero, it doesn't matter what I say or do. The most important thing is, he's coming to the picture and we must face that fact. It's a super story, a life of precious stones and good taste. It's a super story, this is super story. This is super story. This is super story, a life of strife and sorrows. It's a super story. 